Well, happening today, the anti-toll movement is ready to strike. Stacks of petitions are headed for the governor's office as we wait for Governor Ned Lamont to release an updated plan on tolls. Channel 3 Eyewitness News reporter Rachel Yankunis is live alongside the highway in Windsor. And Rachel, we're talking a lot of signatures, right? That's right, Eric. So far, there are 100,000 signatures on a petition demanding lawmakers vote no on tolls. But the question is, when will they vote? As Governor Lamont makes another push for tolls, opponents are ready to deliver a petition to his office. No tolls Connecticut say taxpayers should not have to pay to drive to work. Lawmakers are under pressure to fix transportation, but paying for it is the big challenge, and reactions are mixed. I'm for because it does bring revenue, but again, it also adds another burden to, to the consumer. Some of the things I've read so far are talking about how many there are going to be and like kind of how frequently you'll have to pay them as you commute, depending on how far you have to go. That seems a little excessive. The group No Tolls Connecticut plans to deliver five stacks of petition to the governor's office at 11 o'clock, followed by a rally on the steps of the state capitol. Live in Windsor, I'm Rachel Young Kunis, Channel 3 Eyewitness News.